motherfuckers up. Back at you for another motherfucking malt liquor video. Did Billy the D, did Colt the 45, did malt the liquor, did glass the 40 ounce container, which I will enjoy with the label out for the duration of this video. First off, what the fuck happened to Black Metal Troy's channel? I seen earlier that he had deleted videos until like two weeks back, so he got rid of the fucking shit show stuff. And then I got home from work and I was watching, I think, Save the Polar Bears video. And it said Troy had shut it down, so I went to look. Sure enough, there is no more BMT. But I've seen on Facebook, he said he's creating another channel and he's going in a different direction. Sad to say, we all know where it'll end up. Back with fucking binge drinking. But fuck, he had what? 3,000 subscribers and now he just shut that shit down? Fucking sucks. Anyway, I shot a video earlier and then I shot another one. But I rambled on, as usual. So I'm gonna try to get to the point in this one and then get on with the fucking night. Let's get that crap. Come on, motherfucker. So, for real now, R.I.P. BMT. <coughs> Shout out, Farkles. So I rambled on about a bunch of shit in the last video. I talked about uh, some other hobbies besides gaming and cigars and drinking malt liquor and making YouTube videos. I do a lot of metal detecting in this area. We call it relic hunting because I live in Virginia. Big time battleground for the Civil War. Talked about finding a bunch of stuff. Um, I once dug nine artillery shells in one day. Um, reed shells, 30 pound parrot shells, all live, uh, did not detonate. They went into the ground on impact and there they stayed for a hundred and how many years. Um, I found nine of them shit about 10 minutes from my house in an area the size of about a football field. Um, you can Google them, fucking reed shells, pear shells, they were all 30 pound. Um, they look like big ass fucking bullets. Uh, you have to take those and get them drilled out underwater so that they do not detonate. Because believe it or not, in that thick ass iron, the black powder stays dry. And a spark could ignite the motherfucker. And actually about eight years ago, there's a local guy that does that. And he was doing one in his shed out behind his house and blew his whole fucking shed up and killed himself. Not on purpose, it was a fucking accident. And in the years that I've been metal detecting, I found everything. Buttons, bullets, artillery, swords, guns, uh, I don't know if I said buckles. Um, I found some very rare uh, Confederate items, which Confederate items are worth more money because they're hard to come by. It wasn't as much stuff. Uh, you know, the Union had the government backing them, so they had a lot more uniforms and shit like that. Some of the Confederates just fought in their regular fucking farm clothes. Um, <coughs> so I talked about that in the video. Whatever. Um, some of the shit that I found is worth quite a bit of money. I have sold some things and actually sold things, uh, sold items and paid for a family vacation to Jip. Uh, but the main topic, with Halloween coming up, I wanted to see if anybody had any fucking personal paranormal stories that they could cam up with, a malt liquor of course, and tell the fucking ghost story. And I've got a few, and if some people do the videos, 
I will indeed make my own and tell my stories. Moment. So definitely. I know Halloween's Monday. Kind of late to the party on it. But. Get a fucking raw liquor. Cam up. Tell a fucking ghost story. Preferably a true, personal, you know, something that's happened to you, if anything like that's happened to you, or, you know, a local legend, um, something that happened to a friend of you, story that you've heard, anything, man. I love fucking ghost hunting shows. I love anything that's fucking horror, scary, paranormal, all that shit. So I thought it'd be cool. Make an MLV. Tell them about the fucking story. Yeah, I couldn't believe. He got home. Troy and shut his shit down. <laughs> Which, we were on a Troy cot. Shout out to Fear for coming up with that one. Boycotting, boycotting Troy until he gets his shit straight. But like Fear says, you can unsubscribe. But you end up getting sucked back into it, trying to see what's going on with him, trying to keep up with it. I don't know. I don't know. Won't look at Shout out to fucking the one and only Dr. Stephen Maltern. Just watched one of his videos before I cammed up. Where he was drinking a Schlitz with the new label. I will have to start looking in the area. I know a couple spots where I can get the OML, so it'd be cool to see a new label. Add another one to the collection. Come I just want old English back in fucking glass, man. I've been drinking a lot of fucking. OE, <laughs> plastic OEs off cam. Would love to be able to go back to the days where you cam up with a fucking glass old English. Come on, America, get your shit straight. Glass the malts. <laughs> Stop holding our malts hostage. Putting them in subpar containers. Trying to pass them off as what they used to be. They're nothing but a shadow of them form their former selves. I mean, the OE and the plastic, it's good, you know, I miss the taste, but you can still tell, it's just something not there, and Mickey's used to be one of my favorite, but Mickey's you gotta drink cold, man, and that fucking plastic just doesn't keep the cold in, man, before you know it, the shit's fucking warm, I don't like it. We were at the swell. On this malt liquor video, but yes, like I said, cam up with a malt, tell a fucking ghost story, let's do it, for Halloween, somebody make the video so that I can, in turn, make the video, I didn't want to just show up telling ghost stories, let's get, you know, let's get some people behind it, tell some fucking stories, creep some people out, enjoy some malt liquor, malt liquor. And, like that, another one's gone. Did not read your label. Uh, Did not drew the fluid. I'm gonna draw some motherfucking phone. Like I said, people, cam up. Tell the fucking ghost stories. Do it.